Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about the measurement of reactive power. Now, what is reactive power? The basic question that arises in our mind is what is reactive power? The power which exists in the circuit when the voltage and current are out of phase to each other. Such type of power is known as the reactive power. So reactive power, by the definition, the reactive power exists in case of in case of two element only, that is L and C. Because in case of L, the current lags by 90 degree and in case of C, the current lead by 90 degree. So, such type of power exists only when there is L or C or both are there in the circuit. The formula which measures the reactive power in the circuit is Q Vi sin of phi. Now, reactive power. The measurement of reactive power is essential because the value of reactive power shows the total power loss in the circuit. The total power that is flowing in the circuit is the total power minus the active power because the active power is the only which is useful and the total power includes the reactive power also. So, the, by calculation of reactive power, we can find out the total loss in the circuit. The electrical system is classified by the number of phases in the circuit. For example, single phase circuit, three phase circuit. And according to these phases, the wall meter, which is basically the meters which are used to measure the reactive power are classified in the two types, a single phase war meter and a polyphase war meter or single phase reactive power meter or polyphase reactive power meter. Now we uh, will first run the single phase war meter. The reactive power of the single phase circuit is measured by single phase war meter or volt ampere reactive meter. Right? This type of war meter is basically an electrodynamometer watt meter in which the pressure coil of the meter is highly inductive in nature. Although the electrodynamometer watt meter, in case of the electrodynamometer watt meter, the pressure coil is inductive in nature, but not the highly inductive. But in case of the single phase war meter, this, this pressure coil is highly inductive in nature. Due to the high inductance of the coil, the voltage of the pressure coil, the voltage of the pressure coil lags at an angle of 90 degree with that of current coil. So the difference between the voltage and the current becomes 90 degree or quadrature. Now the current which passes, passes through the current coil is the load current, right? So the current which is passing through the coil is load current. The load current has a phase difference of 90 degree. with respect to the supply voltage and it can be given by equation Vi cos of phi Vi cos of 90 minus phi which is equal to nothing but Vi sin of phi and which is further equal to reactive power which basically we are measuring here is the circuit of single phase war meter on this side of the war meter On this side of the war meter, there is a supply voltage and on this side load is connected. This is basically two coils. There is basically two coils. One is the pressure coil and another one is the current coil. The coil which is connected in the series with the line is known as, is known as current coil and the, the coil which is connected between the two phase, between the line and the neutral or line and neutral is known as the pressure coil of the circuit. Now, uh, there is a disadvantage of the single phase war meter that it produces it produces incorrect result because of presence of harmonics. Also, 
if the word meter is being used for the reading at a different frequency from which we have used it during its calibration then also the word meter will give inaccurate result means you can say that if it is being the meter is being calibrated for 50 hertz and you are measuring the power at 60 hertz then it definitely will give error full result now the next one is a polyphase war meter now we know that the reactive power exists in the circuit because of the phase displacement between the voltage and the current right because the in phase component always produce the active power and the reactive power is due to the phase displacement between the voltage and the current and this phase shifting is obtained from the phase shifting transformer now the phase shifting transformer of the polyphase war meter consists of two open circuit transformer which is connected in open delta configuration the current coil is connected in series with the line and the pressure coil is connected to the common terminal of both the transformer here is the diagram this is the supply side and this is the load side this is the three phase r by and b or you can say one two and three this is watt meter one and this is the watt meter two having a current coil and pressure coil there also a current coil and a pressure coil now the current coil is connected in series with the line this is a phase enters and this here the phase leaves out also in the third phase here the phase enters and from there the phase phase leaves out but the pressure coil is connected through the two open delta transformer now the open delta transformer have the maximum tapping of 115.4 percent the second one is 100 percent and third one is 57.7 percent one of the pressure coil is connected with the 115.4 percent coil so here you can find that the watt meter one pressure coil is connected with 115.4 percent coil so uh, the, the auto transformer is shown with the tapping 57 100 percent and 115.4 percent the maximum line voltage is 115.4 percent the pressure coil of the one of the watt meter is connected to the 115.4 percent tapping of auto transformer while the other one is connected at 57.7 percent the voltage produces the pressure coil of the watt meter which is equal to the line voltage right the voltage produces the pressure coil of watt meter which is equal to the line voltage but they have a phase shift of 90 degree in the same way the pressure coil of watt meter 2 has the phase difference of 90 degree and while uh, when we calculate the arithmetic readings arithmetic calculation of the both watt meter readings we will find that the total power total reactive power of the circuits comes out Now the reactive power measurement in balanced three phase circuit the last one which we are dealing with is for an unbalanced circuit in this method we will dealing with the balanced three phase circuit in case of balanced three phase circuit a single watt meter method is used for measurement of reactive power the current coil is connected to the one phase and the pressure coil is connected to the other two phase of the line right so here you find the reactive power measurement
the reactive power measurement with the help of single phase one watt meter method in the three phase circuit so this is the supply end this is the load end the pressure coil is connected between the phase one and the phase three and the current coil is connected in the phase two so uh, as the current coil is connected in the phase 2 the current so the current passing through the coil 2 is equal to i2 the voltage coil or the pressure coil is connected between the phase 1 and the phase 3 so the voltage across the pressure coil is equal to v13 and the reading of watt meter will be equal to v13 multiplied by i2 cos 90 plus of phi which is equal to root 3 vi cos 90 plus 5 or you can say root 3 vi sin 90 degree and this is actually the reactive power so the total reactive power of the circuit q is equal to 3 vi sin of 5 which is equal to nothing but minus root 3 into readings of watt meter the phase angle phi is given by 10 inverse q by p thank you